It's me, Mario! Hello! Okie dokie! Hey guys, look, it's me! Oh. Oh. Fat Mario! Oh. Oh Yahoo! Hey look! I even found this yellow rabbit that I'm always chasing around on Super Mario 64, the video game for the Nintendo 64 console. This is not a paid sponsorship for Nintendo 64 console. <coughs> Alright guys, it's time for one of these videos again where I open up old cards from uh, Mandaki! Mandaki! We've got a, a few bundles here, some I'm very keen to get into. Uh, this may look like the one I've just shown, but alas, I've got fucking two blocks of it. Alright, let me just take off my jacket. Things are about to get hot. Alright, so let's open up this one with Japanese Venusaur on the front. This one is 1700 yen, and it's mostly uh, probably full of bulk, but I still love that Japanese bulk. Oh, but there he is, that old Japanese Venusaur in all his glory. He's got a few nicks, so his price won't be as high as it would normally be. But, um, okay, okay. So far, so good. Man, those old shines were absolutely bonkers. Uh, and then I think we're just going to have the bulk. Which, of course, you guys know the rules. I don't count the bulk, even though, of course, uh, some old bulk is worth a couple of dollars here and there. Uh, I don't put it towards the total, I only ever put cards towards the total and do the price check if they are either these glossy sons of bitches we've got a gold duck! And all holographics I'll put the price up. And we have another glossy, it's either a magazine promo or a card from uh, the vending set. Um, but yeah, other than that I can't- Oh, another one! Look at that artwork! I don't think I've ever seen that. I don't know if that's uh, vending machine only art or if it's reused from something I just haven't seen before either. But there you go, slow bro. Hey guys, I just want you to know that these videos are the most complicated ones to do and to price check fairly and everything else. But my god, I keep coming back. Every time I do one, I say to myself, I'm not doing another one of those for a long time. Let's see if we have any other glossy cards. Or anything on the back here. Um, Electabuzz. Uh, that's the base set one, I think. There is another glossy card. I think that's a magazine promo one. And we have... Wait, this is... Wait, hold on. One of these... I think this in English is the WB Kids promo. The one that they give away. The one of four cards uh, when you saw one of the movies. So I have no idea what this is in Japan. This might be a promo card as well. And then on the very end we've got computer search. Uh, okay, that was actually not too bad. A couple of nice uh, glossy card pulls there. Now we're going to open up this one with Porygon 2 on the front for 2,200 yen. Also guys, I don't know how many times I want to reiterate this, but individual cards are very, very hard to price and I do my best to give a fair price based on their condition and everything else. But here we go, the front card, the glorious with a very cool background there. I don't think I ever really paid attention to that detail. Porygon 2 from the Neo era. So there's a lot of cards here that I sometimes, whoa, that I sometimes have no idea what they are and I don't even try to value them. And some of the random stuff from the bulk alone can um, definitely start adding up even though I'm not putting any price ticker or anything on screen. What the fuck is this? This is like the meathead cube. We've got Machops, Machokes all over the place. Uh, some Play-Doh Pokemon. Alright, this is a slightly more expensive pack and after those two cards, it looks like we've just straight to nothing. Oh, I used to love this artwork so much. Light Vaporeon. Or in Japanese, I think it's good Vaporeon. We've got Seal, Graveler, Golem, Golem, Diglett. We've got Diglett. We've got a lot of brown. And back to these. That is, I think, Light Machamp. What a cutie pie. He's like uh, Terry Crews. 
He's a big, uh, muscly man, but he's also a sweetheart. We've got Mankey picking those forbidden berries. And we have... Alright, let's just shuffle through this and see if I can find anything. Doesn't seem to be much. This is really cute artwork. Professor Elm, I think it is. Holding a Cyndaquil that doesn't have its flames out. Not really much more in here that I can see, guys. Here's some, uh, some cool trainers and stuff like that. Uh... Not that I can see any more glossy cards or anything. We have, um, Imposter Oak on the back. All right! It's that time you've all been waiting for. It's the big pack. This one cost 4,500 yen. It's got some really nice looking cards on front and back. And it's probably loaded with hollows. At least that has been what, uh, we've been seeing these past few big ones that we've opened. Woo -hoo -hoo! I'm excited. I, I'm big time excited. Okay, so the big, the big winner, the big boy card on the front is none other than Egyptian Mew. Uh, you might be looking at this thinking, yeah, I've got one of those. No, you don't, my friend. This is not the English one. Of course, it's hard to tell since it's fucking Egyptian. Very nice condition, but this is none other than the infamous Nintendo print. One of the versions of the Japanese one has this fucked up error they printed a bunch of, which says Nintendo. Instead, of course, Nintendo. Definitely worthy of a sleeve and a hard case. And uh, the back is also something to behold. Okay, and our other card which is sitting on the back is this very nice looking Gym Heroes Pharaoh. Lieutenant Surge's Pharaoh. Okay, wait, no, no it was not. I saw a bird, I thought that was, that's what was on the back. It's actually this fucked up Blaine's Moltres. How does Blaine own a Moltres? Like, honest to God. Look how nice these old crazy hollows were. Incredibly sexy card. Okay, now let's see what the bulk is. And of course the bulk in these is none other than a bunch of fantastic hollows still. We've got a Jirachi there. We've got, okay, I stand corrected. No, wait, that's a promo. Got a promo card. We have a holographic Giovanni's Nido King. We've got um, the little baby puppy that we've actually already got. Uh, in the, in this episode. Oh, look at the shine, baby! We've got, um, Steelix. I mean, uh, Skarmory. The Steel Bird. The cool thing about these old Steels is even the, um, even this card has a kind of shiny, polished Steel look, but it's very subtle and hard to tell. Uh, then we have, holy shit, an Ursaring from the Neo series. We've got a Blossom. A green fucker, I think that's Blossom, isn't it? Uh, evolves from Gloom. An alternate evolution from, uh, instead of Vileplume. A fossil set Dragonite. A Kabu Tops. God damn. This, oh, we've got two of them. Then we have Gengar from Fossil Set. We've got Hauntar from Fossil Set. We've got Dugdra. We've got Doug Trio. From a rocket set. We've got Muck, the pile of cum from Fossil Set. We've got a Gym Heroes black African American vile plume. I feel like his color scheme got slightly changed, similar to Jinx, as the as it went on. I might be wrong. Uh, we've got Mag Magnesium. Mag I mean Mag Meganium. The hollows are all so crazy. Two of them back to back. We've got the Beetle, about, about to verse uh, Pinsa. That's a nice little detail there. Heracross versus Pinsa. We've got Nido Queen. Every king needs a wife. Every king needs a queen. All Pokemon females are queens! We've got Jolteon. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into cardiac arrest. I mean, I'm going to have a seizure. We've got Jolteon from Jungle Set. We've got Pinsa. There we go, fighting... The, the Heracross, that's pretty cool. I like that. Then we have a, oh, from another one from one of the Neo sets. This is the Kingdra. Shit. There is Kingdra again, two Kingdras. Then we have um, Misty's Gyarados. We've got, there we go, there is Steelix, finally. Um, and then up next we have another Fossil Dragonite. And we have now moved on to the newer cards. We've got an Ace Spec Trainer. The um, the big fuck off golden potion. Uh, we've got the Master Ball Ace Spec. 
we've got Articuno EX. We've got, uh, which in Japan is just called Freezer. Freezer! Kind of like Dragon Ball, I guess. Lugia and uh, Moltres is called Fire, I'm pretty sure. And um, Zapdos is called Thunder. Uh, we've got Entai. Entai. Hentai. Sorry, that's Raikou. Or Raikou. Not Hentai. We've got um, Calde Caldeo, I think. Is that his name? EX, the horse. We've got a Deoxys EX, baby. We've got um, Reshiram, is it? Whatever the fucking white one is. This is where they kind of brought back this crazy sort of spastic um, hollow. And this is the Shattered Glass uh, promo, Cobalion. We've got uh, Tepig, number 004 of 009. So I think this is a weird uh, promo subset. That's a very strange sort of grain of sand holographic and around the border. I like that a lot. Oh, I think we've got the full set here. That's number five. Um, and we've got number six. Okay, I guess that's where it stops. Got another EX. Another EX. We've got a Shelgen. Okay, this is... We've had some of these in one of these packs as well. This is from this weird uh, DS uh, Dragon set. There's only 20 in the set. There is another one. There is another one. There is another one. Drud Drudgegon. There is a rod, which is also from that set. That looks crazy. Jesus Christ. And all the, a lot of these have sleeves, and they even come with some Team Plasma sleeves. Oh, boy! I don't think um, we're going to go back to back on that. We are opening up another 1,700 yen one. Taking a dip down, but we'll see what we get from this. Does anyone remember what we got from the first Venusaur cover one? Just from the ones that I put on the, the price check, let me know below. Which of the two Venusaur packs was the better? There he is. Oh, look at this boy. This one's a little bit better condition. And then we have a, um, a Crobat. And that's probably all we're going to get. But hopefully we can get a few more glossy ones. And it is absolutely littered with energies. Holy shit, it's littered with energies. Let's see if there's any more in here. Um, there is a lot of individual cards, which some people really do like, and they will buy, uh, here and there. Some banned cards and, and stuff like that, that got changed when they were moved to English. And a lot of trainers, which have cool artwork, which still sort of resell. Sorry, I thought that might have been a glossy one for a second here. Let's go through, see if we can find anything. We're back to the fucking energy bulk! And here we go. This is kind of what you want with your bulk. You want trainer bulk. Because some of these can be nice. That's some cool art. We've got Blaine. Who's that Pokemon? That's Onyx in the background. We've got Gambling Illegal in Japan. Uh, but that's a weird card. I don't think I've seen that trainer. A lot of Blaines. Um, we've got this uh, Hentai Shady Weezing. Uh, we've got this very weird Berry. I don't think I've seen either. A uh, bunch more trainers. Just trainer spam. Trainer spam. Anything on the end, guys? Do we have anything here? Speaking of banned cards, here's the one where Centret's sucking on that cow titty. This was reworked in English because they didn't like this imagery. Alrighty! Moving on! Switch! We've got a hypodermic needle! <laughs> Another rod! We've got... What the fuck is this? Hitmonlee Frozen Sol... Oh, it's glossy. I wonder how many glossy cards I miss. Oh, two glossy cards. Frozen Hitmonlee... I've never ever seen that. That's a weird one. That is from one of the vending sets. And the one on the end with the ghost of coughing. Another vending set. Weird piece. Okay. I had fun here today, folks. But that's not all. I've got another one of these things. You know, I had a bunch of this shit. Strangely from Troll and Toad. Non-sponsored. Just saying, I bought a bunch of this and I forgot what it was and it's got all these weird sort of things on it which doesn't seem to mean anything and I've just bought these random sort of cards here. What the fuck? Some of these Arceus cards have some crazy hollows. I think the uh, the phrasing of the day is uh, crazy hollow. I've said it about a million times but we've seen so many different ones. Um, but yeah, check it. This weird sort of stuff on the cards. It doesn't really mean anything. Some first edition stuff here though. Um... A random first edition old 
Max Revive, but I'm not price checking it. And we have, what is this? We have a Charizard number 006. Just one of these strange things that they print sometimes. There's all kinds of this weird screen caps of the cartoon. Uh, but it is a Charizard. Sometimes Charizard, no matter what it is, can hold value. And now, last of all, we need to do our side quest on the show, which is open up these sun and moon burning shadows as we hunt down the Rainbow Charizard, the only card in recent times which has started to fetch a whole ton of money. We've been wanting to get him. I haven't been able to pull him myself, but if I open one every single time we do a video, eventually, maybe, I'll be able to pull that son of a bitch. We've got a horse. We've got Porygon Reverse, and on the very end, we've got Alolan Raticate with its cheeks full of cum. Are its cheeks just like this, or did a combi come along and get up inside those? Or is it constantly just holding nuts in its mouth? It, it just looks like that, doesn't it? Alolan Raticate? Very uncomfortable. Fine! Another one real quick. Very, very quick. Let's just speed through it and then we'll call it a day. We've got a Steel Energy, get rid of that. Tormenting Spray, Simisage, Curlia, Sandy Gas, Venipede. We've got Horsey, Mudbray again, Letterba, Ryalu as our reverse. And on the very end, we have the Transvestite Fish. All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please click on another video on screen and go down the hole and support the channel by watching some more videos. Please subscribe, smack that bell button, leave a like, leave a comment or a suggestion below, and I'll see you guys in two days. <coughs>